Hi everybody, this is Richard Slay, and this is the second in a series of videos that I'm putting out uh, leading up to the Blues Harmonica Summit, the online Blues Harmonica Summit I'm doing with Dennis Grunling and Ronnie Schellist. On November 11th, there's a link down there for you to sign up for it. And today I want to talk about scale degrees and because I'm going to be using them when I talk about the, uh, the minor pentatonic scales and the blues scale. So, as I said before, if you can talk, you can learn to improvise music. And if you reverse engineer how you learn to talk, you can get a lot of really valuable clues on how to become fluent and conversational improvising music. So, when you learn to speak early on in life, you also, at some point, learn to read and combine that with the process of, of speaking. And when you learn to read, your vocabulary grew exponentially because books could give you a lot more information and once you started creating the sounds from reading and, and being able to develop your thinking as a result of that, it was a game changer. And I maintain that it's a game changer to learn to think about music symbolically, and it also helps to learn to read music. And there are ways to do that that are relatively easy. And the thing about scale degrees, they sound kind of spooky, you know, some people are like, as soon as they start hearing scale degrees, they're like, I'm out of here, man. That's not, it, I don't do that, you know, I, I play by ear. And I used to be that way, and I'm not anymore. I'm very, I'm a very enthusiastic scale degree kind of guy these days. And here's the deal. If you can sing, this is, this is the important way you embed this skill and this knowledge. If you can sing a major scale, let's see. Uh, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. You might have to get into a falsetto to hit the high end of the scale, but you know, so what? It doesn't matter if you sound silly. What matters if you're doing something that works? So, you, if you can sing a major scale, that's the first thing to do, is to check, check it, to give yourself a, play a note on the guitar, play a note on your harmonica. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Okay, check your intonation. If you're a little bit off on some of the pitches, then that gives you something to practice, because it, it, what it will do is it will clear up your mental models on a physical level. And everything you do like this that's on a physical level, that you feel these vibrations in your throat, you hear them, you're creating them, it all embeds this information on a deeper level than just thinking about it or listening to somebody else talk about it. So that's step one. Now, do you got that down? Just do it again, only this time go, I'll use that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, or root, or eight, depending on how you want to think about it. So now, here's the deal. All those scale degrees, flat thirds, flat fives, sharp fives, whatever, all that tells you is how that note relates to the major scale. Those scale degrees are all based on that do, re, mi major scale, the seven note major scale. Once you know that, and you can sing one, two, three, four, five, then you can work out physically and sing any scale degree you hear. So, and then when, when you see a formula for a chord, for example, 
you could sit there and start with that one and sort it out. It's really, it really feels like a superpower once you start getting on with this and you start doing this and, and feeling the results. So let's see. So one, two, three. If I want to know what a minor pentatonic scale sounds like, I need to know the formula. One, flat three, four, five, flat seven, eight or root or one. So one, two, three, but it's a flat three, so I know it's a half step down. One, two, three, three, find the note in between the two and the three. One, two, three, okay, now one, three, one, three, now you're getting the interval. One, three, four, five, flat seven. So you just work out each thing the same way. One, two, three, four, five. And you can also think of other intervals from with mnemonic devices, like if you know the song Louie Luai, that goes one, four, five. So the root of those chords is one, four, five. One, 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 four, four, five, 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 four, four. So now if you've got the flat three and the four and five, you, you can visualize, you can hear these notes of this minor pentatonic scale. So when you can sing the minor pentatonic scale from a root note, you're now it's like name it and claim it. You're getting this in your system deep to the point where it's useful. One, flat three, four, five, flat seven, one. So that's all there really is to scale degrees, except for all the repetition that it takes to get it in your system and singing the intervals, singing anything you go to learn on the harmonica gets the mental model embedded in your mind in, in a way that is much more powerful than just listening to somebody else playing it. If you can sing a song, however nonsense syllables, whatever, in, in, in uh, I'm trying to remember what they called it in, uh, in Irish music, they have a word for it, their form of scat singing. Oh, well, it's not coming back at the moment. Um, but if you, you know, like you can use different devices to, to, to create, you know, like you need triplets, you know, da 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 to, to create the different rhythmic effects. But you get into this game of singing things. Even if you're a terrible singer, do it anyhow. Because for one thing, you'll become a better singer. And for another thing, your mental models will get more and more and more clear. And then it gets easier and easier to play. So my, what I, the reason why I use scale degrees is it gives you a way to think about notes that is transferable to any harmonica. So as long as you know where the root note is, like if I want to play one, three, five, and I know that formula, I play it on a C harp. One, three, five, okay, pick up an A harmonica. I know that what, you know. It's, it's a really powerful way to think about music. And I will expand on it more at the Blues Harmonica Summit. And it will help you, it will give you some tools. It, and if you're already using them, it'll give you a deeper appreciation for the tools. So that's the word for today. Um, don't be afraid of scale degrees. They're easy to figure out once you know that they're related directly to the major scale and just start singing things to work work out these things in your own head and you'll find it much easier to find the notes on the harmonica so there you go uh, once again down there is a link you can sign up for this event november 11th four hours 
of uh, distilled harmonica goodness from Dennis Grunling, Ronnie Shellist, and yours truly. Thanks for listening. See you soon.